I'm recording this at the end of the seventh week of our 11 week quarter, which means I've been dealing with a lot of late work lately. So students turning in things late, asking for extensions, makeup exams, things like that. So I thought it would be a really good time to take a look at the Canvas tools around all this late work. I want to start with an assignment and I want to do, I want to show you how to do an extension. It's actually really easy to do extensions in Canvas. Not everything is. I'm going to go ahead and find an assignment that I created. I'm going to grab this hypothesis test number one. In order to give a student an extension, I'm going to click on edit and then we're going to just scroll down to where we see those due dates. Um, right now it's assigned to everybody and you'll notice that I've got an until date. This is another really important, I, I just think a uh, stress saving thing to set up for yourself. So that means you know that students are not going to submit anything late after November 15th on this assignment. Otherwise they're just going to continue to trickle in. So if I want to give someone an extension, I'm also going to put a new until date for them. That's when the students can no longer access it. To do this, I'm going to click on the add button and it asks me who I want to add. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in a student's name and I will choose that student. And then I can scroll down to the due dates and give that student their own due date. Let's do the 20th, but then I'm also going to do an until date so they can't submit after that date. So maybe I'll do that on the 21st. And then I would go ahead and hit save and then enter. You may have also noticed the reassign button in SpeedGrader. So let me click on SpeedGrader and show you a student that has that reassign comment on it. Now you have to have given the student a comment first before you can reassign the assignment, but all the reassign does is to put it back in their to-do list. If you're really wanting to give that student a new due date and a new deadline, a new until date, you need to go back to the assignment and edit, adding those dates just like we did. Next, let's talk about what Canvas can do in terms of quizzes. Under quizzes, I want to choose this all about Math 146 online quiz. Now I can definitely give the student an extension and that would involve doing exactly what we did before. Scrolling down here under edit and then clicking that add button. But I'm going to cancel out of this because I want to show you what else you can do with those quizzes. I'm going to click on moderate this quiz. Now you can see that my students have been given a few different attempts. I can click on this pencil over here to give the student an additional attempt or several additional attempts. So say I want to give the student one additional attempt. Now if I click this box right here, it's also going to open it up just for that one additional attempt regardless of that until date or that due date. So that's a really nice, easy way to open up a quiz for a student. I don't actually want to give extra attempts, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel there. Now, there are also some things that you can do in the grade book. Let me click on grades. And you'll notice in my grade book, I have some things in blue, some things in um, pink, and there may be some things there in yellow. To unlock some of these features that go along with the color coding, I'm just going to click on one of these scores and then click the arrow. And that's going to unlock this feature for the student for this assignment. Now the reason it's blue is because it's been marked late, but I can also change this to excused. So if I instead don't want this score to be counted for my students, again, a really great way to work around late work, I can mark it as excused. Now, if I instead marked an assignment missing, then that assignment would be counted for mine. It would be counted as a zero. Yours might have the little slash there, which means it's just not counted at all. But really, this student's was late, and I better change that back there to her score of five. If this is helpful, I would love a like. Here comes the next tip. The other thing that you can do is to automatically assign those zeros. You notice that when I changed her score to missing, it automatically put a zero in there. To do that, I want to click on the gear in this upper right hand corner and under late policies, I want to check that very first box. This is going to automatically assign a grade of zero once a student has missed a due date. 
underneath here is also the option for a late submission policy. Now, I don't have that and know that anything that you do here is applied universally. So if you did choose to do this one, you could say do a 10% penalty, a deduction by day. You've got several different options there. Now I am going to cancel but instead of just assigning zeros for missing work, what I really want to do is to remind my students and give them some options. A great way to do that is to message students based on performance. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick one of these assignments. I'm going to click the three dots and then choose message students who. And I've got it set. It's automatically set to have not submitted. And I've got one student there. And then I can type them a message about maybe my late policy or that I've given them an extension and to look for that brand new due date. The other thing that I really like to do with this one is to instead message students for really good work. So I'm going to say who scored more than this was, I think, a six point assignment. So I'm going to say students that scored more than five points. So you'll notice that I've got 21 students here and I can go ahead and say good job on this assignment. So nice to give students a motivation to not have missing work as well. Let's go back to the assignments tab for just one more tip. So I'm going to click on assignments. This one is by category. So I've got exams participation. I'm going to click on the three dots next to one of these categories. So I'm going to click on the three dots and then edit. And you'll see that it gives you the option to drop the lowest score. You can even keep an assignment here that's not allowed to be dropped. I hope this was helpful. Good luck with all of that late work and grading. I'll see you next time.